Hello and welcome to this video. If you watch this video, it means that you will need to fish a lot because you want a bit of gold to be able to play in WoW or because you want to buy a token or just because you need a lot of fish or uh, a, ra a rare item that is in World of Warcraft. So I have two videos, one short, one long, that explain how to set up the project. But basically, if I have to resume, you just download the stuff here, like this. You will launch an application that tracks the volume over there. And you have another application over there that will brain the stuff and make the phishing uh, work by uh, clicking on the part over there on the ID process that is in this Windows. But go watch the video if you need to know how it's set up and how it works. But basically, uh, when you set up that like this, you can have one to eight bots. Uh, you can go sleep, you can do whatever you want, and uh, it will fish a lot. And when you come back, you will have uh, fish, uh, plenty of objects to sell, and stuff like this. So this video is not about explaining that. This video is explaining how to make money, how to avoid to be banned, and uh, how uh, the WoW accounts are designed. Because if you are new uh, in botting, because you well, it's, it's normal to not bot, because bot is bad, uh, you should not bot, but yeah. Uh, this video is not about the ethic of botting, but just explaining how we can bot. So, uh, yeah, I, I will just watch the, the post I was uh, creating and talk about it. So, first of all, you don't know the application that is free on the Be Aware license. Uh, you have a video over there that is explaining everything on how to set up it. Uh, it the website is this website, Open Micro, it's in the description. You download the phishing, you launch the listening exe. Here you have the process you need to copy in the application to be able to listen to the windows. Um, this application is volume phishing bot in the folder you will be able to take download. When you're ready, you say, yes, I'm ready, or yes, any, any key, and it will launch the application. If you like my work, if you like uh, what I'm doing or other projects, feel free to follow me follow the, or follow the project uh, or me, okay, that is the macro project, or just send me a beer or a pizza on the, on the PayPal, and I will be happy with a beer. So when you fish, don't forget to reduce the uh, graphic quality of your game because more you have graphic, more you use electricity, and you don't want to use uh, electricity. Plus, if you have a full game, you can run one, two, or three on your computer. But if you reduce the quality of your game, you can have five, six, to eight accounts. Depending on your PC, some of mine can run 10 to 12 accounts. So go down, go down, go down. Here you can ask the game to run at 8 FPS. That is really good. But sometimes it will miss a click. So uh, sometimes I put it a bit higher in FPS. But yeah, it depends on how many accounts you want to bot with. As you can see, the application, you have the time uh, between focus the, or focus the windows. If you have eight windows, if you switch to a week too fast, he will not collect the previous fish or he will not fish correctly the next one. So you need a bit of millisecond to let the game understand that you are focusing it. Number of click and uh, uh, the time between it is just more you have click, more you have time between, more you take time, and more you miss fish when you have eight accounts. So don't tweak it if you have two or three accounts. Tweak it if you have five to eight accounts. To be able to um, fish, you don't want the camera to move and not fish for all the night because you won't be there. You will be sleeping or doing some stuff or anything. So set the view to home, and my software will keep the camera at a good place. 7 is the button to be able to fish in this application. We cannot configure home and 7 in the next one, maybe, but the next one is not now. To be able to fish, as the fish will do, the, the, the click will do horizontally, uh, what you need to do is to have the fishing pole going always horizontally and not uh, in cycle on your screen. So the best way to do that is that you take your character and you put it in the water like this. And uh, after that, you put the camera the far you can uh, from the fishing pool, and the closer you can to have the fishing pool between the screen, because if it goes outside, you lose some fish sometimes. And so, yeah, like here I'm just 
showing that you need to put the zero at this place, the one at this place. So you check for wow, you check and you copy the ID and you say you're ready. Don't forget to uh, set the auto loot. So the auto loot is saying uh, when I fish, uh, I recover the stuff without having to click on it. Put the volume to uh, minimum except for the effect because uh, else you won't be able uh, to uh, fish because uh, here my application is detecting the sound of the application to be able to know when he need to fish. Uh, two objects that you should have if you want to fish a lot is the this one. You have to remember that the mount is account wide, so if you make five bots on the same account, uh, you will have uh, just to buy to buy it once on an official account. Um, if you do a guild, it's more, 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 more easier to be able to manage the money uh, that you will generate and stuff like this. And um, if you do a guild, also you are a bit protected against ban because uh, they usually ban the character but not the guild. And uh, so you need to put everything you can on the guild. And when you can extract it on your uh, battle net account, because if they ban the guild, what did never happen to me, uh, then you still have the money on your battle net account. That's I'm not sure that they can ban like a, a battle net account. They don't. But usually they just ban the account on WoW and not always all the account, just the account that had uh, some cheats inside. So this guy is really useful because when you fish, you fish a lot of trash and you want to sell it. And as you start uh, the game, you also want to be able to store those stuff. And this ma uh, mount, this guy, gives you this at just 12 gold. Uh, yeah, 12 gold. So if you buy five of them, you have enough stuff to be able to fish all the night. So no need to go to the auction house and buy a lot of bag. Just buy or to this guy. A wall token depends on your server, but basically it's this price, usually, uh, the wall token. And the Great Sea Ray, that is the mount that you can fish uh, under level 20, is selling between those numbers, but usually, if you want to sell it quick, sell it 8,000, but 8,000 means that you need 5, 4, 6 Ray, and 5, 4, 6 Ray, it's a lot, 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 of time to fish. Basically, a sea ray for one account take one week. So if you have seven accounts, it will take one day. So uh, if you want to farm uh, enough uh, great sea ray, you need uh, a lot of accounts. Uh, and so yeah, it can be uh, expensive in time uh, if you set it, set it too low. If your server allow it to sell it to this number, then you just need two, so it's more catchable. So in the previous version of WoW, it was not so easy to make money with the Great Sea Ray. It's more easy with the mount, but the mount is more detectable as a bot because you are doing movement, firing, and stuff like this. The fishing bot, I, I, I don't have a fishing bot that were banned. I just have all the bots that were banned. So because it's hard for them to detect the difference between a human and a, a bot. And for the player uh, that sees someone fishing, they usually don't report you, except if they really see that you are fishing since from a long time or you are hiding. So yeah. So yeah. So I don't have explanation of how you can... Yeah, basically you can't win a lot of money enough to be able to... Um, to be a, a really... Profitable, profitable from Great Sea Ray. And uh, Dragonfly, that's not the same because I was not expecting that. But in Dragonfly, my software allowed me to make between 5 and 10 mi uh, million of uh, gold and uh, at the start. And now uh, I'm still doing 1 to 2 million per day. Um, uh, just selling uh, stuff uh, and stuff, yeah. Uh, so in Dragonfly, there is some stuff that will bring you a lot of money, and some stuff that will bring you just a little bit of money, but at the end will make a lot. The Casgon Fish friend for the Enginer is really expensive because um, I show it uh, under here, here. If you want to go to the level uh, one hundred. 
he's still giving you skills. So uh, this plan is really important for engineer because it allows you to go from seven, uh, 17, 70 to 100. And so it's sell it very, very expensive. Everybody wants it. So I go back where I was. Ta -ta -ta. So you have this stuff that is selling. You have the ace. So the ace, when you fish, you will win some coins, some coin like this. And so when you win this, it allows you to buy this. This allows you to buy this. And so you can fish randomly or buy them. And those ones give you uh, this little bag that is uh, over there. And this little bag gives you, like this one, gives you some rare objects. And in this rare object, you will have those and uh, those that is really 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 <laughs> expensive because it allows you to have a very good item and everybody wants it and to be able to have this item you need to fish or to buy it to the action house and so uh, is a, that's why I did million at the start of war and it's not really not expecting that uh, and so yeah so those it's basically what you want to fish um, when you will fish, you will win a lot of those that people need for cooking. So you make money with that. You will have those that have plenty of plants, but the plant is not so much. It's about uh, those number. And so you won't make a lot of money with those. But yeah, it's still money you can use. Uh, you will have plenty of fish, but the problem is that there is, you are not the, uh, People are not fishing, it's bots that are fishing mainly on WoW. And so uh, as every bot will have some fish, the fish is not selling a lot. It's about three, four gold, uh, sometimes 10, 20 gold. So don't expect a lot about those. Those one is, is giving a lot, but it can change with the uh, uh, time because at start there is a lot of bots, but after some months, there is less boss and bots and so less fish and so you can sell it more. So it depends on the server, it depends on uh, the time. So those I won't speak for now, but for now it's not a lot. So yeah, what I tip you to do uh, is to have a guardian angel. So basically, if a bot is detected, they will ban it. Uh, and so you will lose everything on these bots, the money of this bot, and you won't never uh, access it access it again. If you do a guild, and that the guy decide to ban everybody in the guild because everybody is botting, uh, they will not ban the guild. But as you don't have anyone in the guild anymore, then it means that you lost all your guild and your, your money. And it happened to me, and it was really, really, really frustrating and sad. So. What I do now is I uh, I have an account that is called a Guardian Angel. It's basically an account uh, that is in the guild that I pay one month to be in the guild, but that is uh, not suspectable. So not selling stuff, not botting, do anything illegal, just playing on it. And that way, if my bot are banned, I still have the guild, I still have the money, I still have the mount, I still have everything I, I farmed. So yeah, woe is not really fighting the bot, I think, the fighting enough. You can have eight accounts on WoW. So what I tip to do is to do five accounts. And when you uh, want to play on uh, this uh, Blizzard account, to create one or two other one to play on it. Why? Because if you create eight accounts and they see you bots on five accounts or three accounts, they will try to ban everyone. But if there is not those, then they can only ban those one. Okay, so create five accounts, fish on it, and when you're ready, you create a new account and you play on this account. Um, those one is the big trap. So every time in my uh, months of botting for fun, uh, I'm not selling my money for, I'm not selling my gold for money. So I do it for fun, and because it's fun to learn how to code all that. So I'm not doing it for money. I, I say it I, and I repeat it. I'm not doing that for real money. Just doing that for the fun. But if you do bot, 
and you use the mailbox, you will be banned because there is some kind of auto trigger suspicion on the mailbox. And so as soon as you do a transaction that is a bit weird, weird you have something like check for bots and you will be detected as bot because you have a bot and you will be banned. So never, never use those, please. Other way to be banned, trading. You trade, you are detected as bots and I really avoid those because every time I use a trading and I did one accidentally on an account, an account that I was liking and uh, bam, automatically ban. So that's booby trap, don't use those. So the aim of the game, if you bot, is to have a goal, some goal to use in game or to be able to uh, buy token. You can buy token for having months to play, but you can also buy a token to have a Blizzard balance. So the Blizzard balance allows you to uh, buy months. Uh, you need to buy two months at a time. So you need to have at least 25 euro to be able to uh, uh, buy uh, some months for your bot. Um, and you can buy game on Blizzard and stuff like this. So basically, I, it's like this that I buy Diablo 2 and uh, Crash Bandicoot is by just botting uh, with fish. So, um, yeah, uh, you can have plenty of, of uh, WoW token depending on uh, the market, how you bought and stuff like this. So when you use it, you can say that you want it as a uh, Blizzard balance. The good part of this is that they will almost never ban a Blizzard account. At least it never happened to me. So as soon as you use a token, uh, your money is protected. So you can be banned, but your money is protected. So it means that you uh, can use it to be able to uh, buy other bots or to buy game or any, anything you want. Uh, something you should, should not do is try to sell several months at the same time. Because the problem is that as soon as you sell several months, uh, all the player can say, hey, man, this guy is maybe a bot. They report you and uh, you have a detection bot that come on you and uh, you are a bot, so they will detect you as a bot and you will be banned. <laughs> so, because you have to understand that they will not make run a software to detect bots on, every ban, uh, on everyone every time. So they just try to run on people that are suspected to be bots. And I'm not sure if there is human behind, but at least there is some auto detection. So try to avoid report and it's shit to say, but I'm sure that other player, as soon as you put some months, report you to make you disappear of the market. And that's how I was done two times with the, not the great sea ray with other month because the great sea ray is less detectable, but on the other month I was detected pretty quickly. And so don't sell several at a time and don't be an asshole to other player because that's how you, you get banned. Something you have to know is that uh, if you're fishing, uh, you're fishing for all those servers for Alliance and uh, Horde. That's stupid. That's really stupid, but that's the case. So if you are here and you sell fish, you sell fish uh, with this guy at the side and this guy at the side. So um, uh, the good stuff, you, if you want to do some, some phishing and have a lot of money, what you need to do is to have an account on each of those. Why? Because if you fish a lot, you will have a lot of uh, fish to sell, a lot of stuff to sell, a lot of cards to sell. And as there is no bots on every other server, it means that the bot that will uh, make you uh, fail is yourself because you're fishing too much. And so what you want to do is fish on in the English one, fish on the German one, fish on the French one, fish on the Spain one, and the Russian one you can't, you can't. Uh, and the Italian, the Italian one is a new one. And like in this way, you will be able to uh, avoid uh, auto killing you on the market and uh, so make more money of what you are selling. Uh, you have to have the patience to uh, level up your account on every uh, then, uh, but if you do that, it can be uh, a lot of money. Basically, the game is uh, 40 euro, so uh, you need to have four tokens to be able to play the game. Uh, it's a lot of token and it's a lot of time to be able to have it, but 
as at the extension, uh, apparently when it's going out, there is a lot of money. Uh, I was able to buy two accounts like this, and I'm happy to that because it will allow me to make plenty of tests, not for the bot, but for the micro software. So yeah, game time. Uh, you In the past, you could buy one, uh, one game time at a time, but uh, I suppose it's to avoid bots you need to buy two of them 60 days and so you need two tokens to be able to expand your game i'm at least expand uh, before uh, it's finished because another way is to wait that the account is finished and then to pay the ex the, the time and they will fetch on your bank account and uh, you can expand 30 days without having to uh, have the, those number of days but you need the gold on your account not be banned etc etc something completely stupid stupid from the from the, the the idea of oh i understand it because it's for people that are not botting but ah, apparently you can buy those day but you also can give it with a uh, bizarre uh, account uh, money so it means that you can bot have the equivalent of uh, those uh, euro in token and give it to another bot and so it's stupid because there is a limitation of how many tokens you can buy on your account. But as you can give it, you can take another account that is not botting and take the money from the guild and pay it to the bot or pay it to someone else. So, so you can uh, sort the money. Uh, the, you can kind of laundering your money by just taking the gold from the guild and give it to someone else. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit... I find that stupid, but yeah. Something you could know is that your level is uh, influencing the ju the junk uh, loot you will have. So uh, you will what you fish will be very like less than one PO if you are at this level. But if you are sixty, it will be uh, one or two PO, and seventy it's two or three PO. So you mean that on one night, one bot can make one thousand PO just by fishing uh, and selling to the to the NPC. So uh, it could be a good idea if you are botting to not stay at this level but go the maximum level you can to be able to make a bit of money on the side. Something that is good to know is that you can invite some friend and as you can see uh, every two uh, every then and then you have a token that you can win two months and five months. Um, that can be very useful because uh, two months, it means that you just need to have two bots uh, if you have the money. Because what you have to understand is that if you want to level up, uh, it's 60 euro. So if you want to level up to level 60 without having to pay 60 euro, uh, what you can do is you, you buy two bots like this, this one is this one. And uh, like that, you have three bots that allow you to, your, your main account and the two bots to be able to farm level up, uh, fish, whatever you want. And uh, it means that you win a token for just uh, 25 euro. And so you have uh, a token uh, 30 months free uh, and this stuff. Not the best stuff in the world, but yeah, uh, it's not, uh, I won't split or split on it. So if like me, you like botting uh, for the fun and uh, making some tests with the code because you're a programmer, you don't want to play all day because uh, playing takes time. So uh, what you want to do is to uh, skip the tutorial. So uh, when you create an account, uh, you will have a tutorial you need to, to do that is mandatory. And this tutorial is really boring. So what I do is I take a demonist and I use corruption on this one, then this one, then this one, this one. So you make it tab one, tab one, tab one. So you take any macro software, uh, auto hotkey, uh, razor, whatever you want, and you just do one tab, one tab, one tab, one tab. And if you are alone, it take two, three, four hours, depending on, I, I don't remember, but it take not a long time. So you just launch the stuff, go sleep, and you are level 10 uh, after that. And if you want to do it in one hour, two hours, you just uh, create five bots. <laughs> you connect them all at the same time, uh, and then you do that. And uh, you have the situation where uh, in less than two hours, you have all the bot level 10, and you can start to play in the game. 
when you do that, you don't finish the campaign because the campaign takes uh, half an hour to one hour to finish. But you, what you do is you create a druid, uh, or uh, you, you have plenty of other way, but me, that's what I do. I create a druid and I go uh, to this uh, location here. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I go to this location over there because uh, those mobs uh, are not very uh, hard to kill. And uh, as soon as you kill them all, they repop, they respawn. So it means that you can kill them uh, a lot. If you are alone, it takes a bit of time. But if you are with five bots, uh, you can uh, uh, level up really fast. Fast. I mean, it's not fast. It's just uh, that it's fast be compared to the fact that you are not there playing. And why I'm over there on the map is because uh, when you farm over there, you have players that start, that come here and go there and go there. And so basically, if they see you botting, they will report you and you will have a problem on your account. So what you want to do is to farm where there is no quest. And that place has those and no quest. So you can level up to 35, the max from there. The stuff that you can do is that when you are 20, you go to Stormwind and you go in PvP. And as nobody go here in PvP, um, from 20 to 35, you have nobody that can report you. So yeah, when you are 35, uh, what you can do, uh, it, there's plenty of way to level up, but what you can usually, you know, what people usually do, they go over there and they, they kill Silence Boris, uh, because this mob, when you kill it, it give, give a lot of XP, uh, of XP. And uh, it's pop every one or two minutes uh, from time to time, meaning that you can just let your bot kill uh, with a macro uh, and uh, and wait, and uh, you will be able to level up. Um, the stuff is that you have to do that when it's really uh, when nobody is playing, uh, so the morning, the the night, stuff like this, because. If someone see you do that, they can report you because they don't like people using macro. Uh, not even bot here, just people using macro. And um, uh, yeah, it's a risk. This one is a risk, but it works. <laughs> Something fun that I, I, I learned is that if you bring those to the guard, the guard help you to kill them and it's really easy. So if you want, you can take a hunter or a demonist and send the pet and bring back the pets and they kill the, the stuff and you can do that what uh, as long as you want and to to win level another one uh, but you need to be uh, level uh, 30 before you go over there is uh, this one so it's here it's really good because you go slowly in the level but um, uh, almost nobody go uh, over there so it's really a hiding place, really good to be able to farm without being reported. So yeah, um, so that's kind of all. I, I have plenty of other stuff to say. This tutorial is not about leveling, so uh, sorry if I talk about that. But the reason I, I was talking about leveling like this is because if you want to fish uh, and make a bit of gold, you need to be level 60 and go from 1 to 60 take a long kind of long time if you don't know how to do it and uh, it really worth it in terms of gold because uh, it will make you uh, 500 to 700 gold per per account per night so it's it's good enough to be able to help you if you don't want to buy token and just have some gold to play world of warcraft um so one, something I tip you to do is to not specially do it on your main account. So create a second account or create other account that's your main account. And um, when you are ready, send the money in from the guild or uh, send the money in from the auction house. That's how, peop how bots are doing. So be basically people are that want to sell uh, money, uh, gold, I don't do it, but I, I read on the web how they do. They go in the auction house and they sell an object for a lot of money and the bots uh, buy this object that is useless for a lot of money. 
and like this the money is uh, transfer and it's very less detectable than uh, trading mailing or gilding so yeah hope this video helped you uh, me i will stop to play war because i have plenty of the stuff to do in real life and code to do in real life but uh yeah hope it helped uh, some 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 of you to make some gold and some of you to be able to bot have fun with my program and if you have any question i'm on discord and uh, you I, I answer to the youtube video comments so yeah and if you can send me a beer or pizza i'm really happy when it's happened so May the code be with you. Bye.